Hey everyone, Cody Lefevre here with another episode of If It Fits Your Burrito. Today, we're getting hot, we're getting fiery, we're putting ribs on the Barbie. That's right, read it and weep, suckers. This whole rack is gonna go in the oven for a little bit, then we're gonna put it in the grill, and then we're gonna put it in a burrito, and we're gonna put that in my belly. It's gonna be the most delicious thing you've ever seen. We went ahead and seasoned our ribs. They're gonna be delicious. We got salt, brown sugar, garlic powder, onion powder, this top secret Western seasoning you're not gonna find anywhere but the secret grocery store on top of the mountain that I ain't gonna tell you about. This is gonna be freaking fantastic. While we wait for the oven, we're gonna wrap them up inside this aluminum foil casket. I got a little bit of holes in there, a little bit too eager seasoning it. Don't blame me. Put it inside the aluminum foil casket, put that sucker inside the oven, it's gonna sit in 400 degrees for like two hours, something ridiculous like that. If you're at lower altitude, probably wanna go like 350 degrees or 300 degrees. I believe the package said like 350, whatever. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up in the aluminum foil. Here we go, aluminum foil casket, locking in that flavor. Can't wait to put those ribs inside a burrito. First, we have to wait for the oven to preheat. Like I said, gonna throw them in there for like two hours, and then we're gonna put them on the grill, then we're gonna put it in the belly. Sounds like a long time. Some of these burritos are time investments, but you know what, you just, you just gotta think about the deliciousness factor here, people. It's an investment in how tasty your meal is and how much you're gonna enjoy it. You wait a little bit, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be better than any Chipotle you ever had. I swear by that. Kadoba, I'm looking at you for that sponsorship money. So we got about 23 minutes left for the ribs in the oven. We'll take them out, let them sit for like 20, 30 minutes, and then they'll go out on the grill outside. Uh, it's hailing and raining outside, and uh, that's gonna be grilling very fun, but hey, you know, um, gains. That's all I gotta say about that. Uh, what we have here is the other fixings going inside the burrito per use. We got tots. Tater tots are the go-to inside filling. Some people like rice, some people like french fries. I like tater tots and coleslaw. And then on the tots, we're gonna season it with just some garlic powder and salt. More garlic powder for me uh, than probably for you because of mosquitoes. So mosquitoes are a hazard out here and my wife tells me that garlic powder keeps them away from me. So I'll, I listen and we see if it works. Now we put on salt liberally. We got our slaw, our tots, seasoned, spiced, ready to go. As soon as the ribs are done in the oven, they're gonna go on the grill outside where it's raining and hailing, but we do it for the gains. While those are out there cooking, the tots will be in there getting nice and toasty and tasty. We got them seasoned with some garlic powder and some salt because that's the way I like it. It's probably the way you like it too because it's freaking delicious. These tater tots, who knows how long they're gonna to take to cook? Five, six hours, maybe tomorrow morning. We're gonna find out. Here at 10,000 feet, I once had a baked potato take a full week to cook. It's just, you know, one of those things. We do it for the gains, like I said before. Um, now we're just gonna stand by, maybe drink a cold one, and uh, wait for all these burrito ingredients to come together.
as you can see, it's raining outside. Still grilling though. Uh, temperature says it's about 300 in there. Let's take a gander at how delicious that is. That was a disaster. Well, it's raining outside. It's thundering and lightning. This is a steel grill. Uh, maybe this isn't such a good idea. I hope these ribs come out uh, deadly delicious, let's say. Activate smell of vision So delicious. Now that we got the ribs off the grill, they're looking quite tasty. That barbecue sauce just perfectly grilled right on there. I don't even know how I do it. It's like magic. What we're gonna do is just cut the meat right off the bone. That way it goes just into the burrito. That's right, you gotta take the bones out before you put it in your burrito. You don't want bones in the burrito. If I need to explain that, then maybe you're like a level two burrito eater. Maybe you've eaten a burrito at Taco Bell. You know, that's like, if that's your experience with burritos, uh, no judgment, but we're like world-class burrito skills and eating here. So just understand that you need to debone this. There's some intricate parts to the instructions on this particular burrito. We're now in, I, I don't even know how many hours we're into actually preparing for this burrito because these doggone delicious ribs, but it's gonna be tasty. Is the best part about Pre-rib burrito, burrito ribs, probably. These are like appetizers to like the real thing. It's just gonna be so damn delicious when these tots hurry the fuck up. Tots are done. While the tots are cooling off, let's get the tortilla hot. And just like that, we make the tortilla Burrito friendly, not too much. We learned our lesson last time. You don't want to overdo the tortilla. You got to be very careful to the time that this spins on the flame because otherwise it ain't going to work out that well. Let's go ahead and get this thing assembled. First up, we got to put our tots on. It is now time, finally, after what seems like days of cooking, to enjoy this delicious barbecue rib burrito. I don't even know if I'm ready for this, but I'm gonna go ahead and take the biggest bite humanly possible. Mm. You gotta try this. What do you think? Okay. Look inside there, we got the slaw. Oh my God. What she did, she broke it. Take a look in there. We got the tots, the beef, the slaw, everything you need. Fits all the macros. What are you doing? It's just amazing what the scientists at the Brito Institute of Technology can do, seriously. For something like this to fit all my macros is amazing. The power of the tortilla is what it is, really. This has been another episode of If It Fits Your Burrito. This uh, is my full rack of ribs inside of a tortilla. I definitely fit my burrito and my macros and my tum tum. Thanks for watching. Last bites. With Doyle rules. Here comes the airplane!